Did you know that almost 70% of cholesterol is made by your body? This means that only a small part of it comes from food. But despite this low rate of influence of food on cholesterol, it is good to favor certain foods known as anti-cholesterol to stay healthy. And you should know that there are two types of cholesterols. There are LDL cholesterols, which we commonly call bad cholesterol, because they allow cholesterol to spread from the liver to the organs of the body. And we have HDL cholesterols, which are considered good cholesterol, because they do the opposite. They bring the cholesterol back to the liver to destroy it. In this episode, we're gonna give you a list of foods that raise HDL cholesterol or good cholesterol. Let's see it all together. Number one, avocado. Avocados sometimes have a bad reputation because they're very fatty, but it is precisely made of good fat since it contains monounsaturated fatty acids. As a result, the avocado is beneficial to cardiovascular health and it also has high concentrations of vitamins and antioxidants. The avocado also contains a large amount of phytosterols, plant compounds that would contribute effectively to the reduction of cholesterol. Number two, the pomegranate. Pomegranate is a refreshing, delicious, and thirst-quenching tropical fruit. Eating pomegranate can also help lower your bad cholesterol. You can eat it as a dessert, but also in a sweet or savory salad or in fresh fruit juice. Be careful and check that the pomegranate juice does not contain any added sugar or preservatives. For maximum benefit, squeeze your juice at home and consume it within half an hour to get the most out of its vitamins. Number three, oats. Oats and their derivatives, such as bran, have no need to prove their nutritional value and their health benefits. Not surprisingly, oats also help fight bad cholesterol because they contain soluble fibers called beta-glucans. This type of fiber traps cholesterol and carries it away in the digestive process. It is easy to incorporate into your diet. Eat it for breakfast as a cereal with milk or as a sandwich with oat bread, which is much healthier than white bread. Number four, eggplant. The eggplant is one of the star foods of the Mediterranean diet for its unique taste, but also for its nutritional virtues. This vegetable also has interesting properties to fight against cholesterol. Studies have shown that it can limit the increase in blood lipids after a meal rich in saturated fats. This action is attributed to pectin, a substance that will somehow capture cholesterol as it passes through the digestive tract. Eat eggplant in salads or steamed, simply rinsed with water and with its skin on. Number five, the apple. The apple is one of the star fruits, low in calories and sugar. The apple also helps fight bad cholesterol. How do they do this? Just like eggplant, the pectins in apples absorb cholesterol and other fats to prevent them from entering the body and blood vessels. The apple is therefore the fruit to choose as part of a diet designed to lower bad cholesterol, but also if you wanna keep your figure or lose weight. Number six, cinnamon. Cinnamon is a somewhat magical spice whose qualities are discovered and praised every day. Thanks to its richness in fiber and its great antioxidant power, it fights against bad cholesterol, but also against triglycerides. This makes it a good anti-cholesterol food. Cinnamon goes particularly well with desserts such as homemade applesauce or fruit salads, but it also finds its place in sweet and savory salads. Number seven, cocoa. Who said that gluttony was a bad habit? It is possible to indulge yourself, even as part of a cholesterol-reducing diet. Cocoa helps to lower bad cholesterol levels while increasing good cholesterol, thanks to the polyphenols it contains. Whether consumed as a lean powder or as a bar, make sure that the chocolate contains at least 70% cocoa and consume it in moderation. Number eight, almonds. Almonds, like avocados, are sometimes victims of their image as a dry fruit with too many calories. However, almonds contain no sugar and are made up of good fat. It is their high fiber content that enables them to fight against bad cholesterol. The fibers capture the cholesterol and prevent it from being passed into the digestive tract. So your body evacuates it directly without having stored it via the stools. Number nine, 
the artichoke. The artichoke is a vegetable too little consumed, which however has great virtues of which fight against the bad cholesterol. It is in its leaves and its heart that we find probiotic fibers. These help maintain the bacteria in our digestive flora. And it is one of these bacteria that interests us because it has the power to transform cholesterol into another form, which the body can eliminate immediately. Number 10, olive oil. Olive oil, like eggplant, is one of the key ingredients in the Mediterranean diet, but also in the ketogenic diet, which we have already discussed on the channel. Olive oil is one of the best monounsaturated fats, which help lower bad cholesterol. When fried or baked, olive oil loses some of its anti-cholesterol qualities, but is still the best cooking oil. Number 11, whole foods. Adopting an anti-cholesterol eating routine does not mean giving up the pleasures of the table, but rather adapting new reflexes. White bread, pasta, and rice should be replaced by their wholemeal equivalents. Choose wholemeal bread or oat bread for breakfast. They will have a more satiating effect in addition to fighting cholesterol. If you dream of a pasta dish, choose wholemeal or semi-complete pasta and opt for cooking it al dente rather than melting. For rice, swap your usual rice for brown or red rice and rinse it with plenty of cold water before cooking. Number 12, lean meats. Eating animal protein in a reasonable amount helps to maintain good health and provides the amount of iron the body needs. Eating 150 grams of red meat per week is therefore beneficial to health and can be considered by people on a cholesterol-lowering diet. In any case, make sure you buy meat with less than 10% fat, avoiding duck and offal. For white meats, choose chicken and turkey over pork, especially in the form of deli meats. Number 13, oily fish. Fish, unlike meat, can be eaten several times a week. Tuna and salmon are the most popular choices in the fight against cholesterol, thanks in particular to their omega-3 content, which helps reduce bad cholesterol. Rich in proteins, they have a satiating effect, which helps to avoid snacking, often responsible for too much cholesterol in the blood. Number 14, fish oil. Fish oil in the form of a dietary supplement is an easy and practical solution for reducing bad cholesterol. It is its richness and omega-3s that makes it a very effective treatment. Choose your pure organic fish oil for an optimal effect. In the description, you will find the link to a fish oil-based food supplement that we particularly recommend because it is pure, natural, stable, and concentrated in omega-3. Number 15, citrus fruits. Citrus fruits have the potential to lower bad cholesterol levels in the blood. This is especially true with sour tasting fruits such as oranges, grapefruit, or lemon. Why not opt for a fresh fruit juice in the morning or a gourmet smoothie in the afternoon and add an avocado? If you prefer to eat them whole, prepare a good fresh fruit salad. Bad cholesterol doesn't have to be fatal. By eating a diet rich in good fats, it is possible to restore normal HDL cholesterol levels. Remember that a healthy and varied diet also contributes to your overall health, energy, and well-being. Have you ever had to deal with bad cholesterol? If so, how did you lower it? Tell us all about it in the comments. Thank you for your loyalty and we'll see you in a few days for a video on vitamin D, what it's used for and where to find it in food. See you soon.